Hey up campers, how are you all doing? So I've just filled up my LPG at Morrison's in Redcar. Never been to Redcar before. I've never been to Morrison's in Redcar before. It's not very exciting. <laughs> but it's good to fill up my LPG, that's right smashing. So uh, now I need to find a pack up and um, potentially arrange to meet one of my subscribers because he lives up this end somewhere. Um, I may be looking his van. Yeah, so. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find a park up. Oh, it's so good to find a shower as well. Oh my god, look at that tramp. So, speak to you later. Bye for now. So, I've found this pretty big car park overlooking the sea. Uh, just on the way to the park up that's on park for night. It does say no overnight parking and raise a sort of a barrier that's open at the minute. Whether that gets shut, I don't know. But there are several campers who are bigger than the um, barrier, so they would have to move before that gets shut if it gets shut. Apparently, the other park for, park for night park up it says that there's no overnight parking there either. Is out there. I mean, this is okay. It is rather windy though, so I'd be rocked to sleep, which might be quite nice. <laughs> it's noise more than anything. It's not too bad at the minute. I really need a laundrette though. Nothing else, just to wash these uh, trainer shoe things that I'm wearing. They're, they're like slippers, they're really comfy, so they're never off my feet. But they're absolutely humming! And I don't like the tune. I'm sure you needed to know that. Anyway, I may talk to another camper van person to see what they say about stopping here. Although, where should I go to the other one? Oh, I don't know. I'll just have to see. I'll get back to you. So, this is the car park. This is the rest of the car park. There's some people watch now. Hello, everybody. So, yes, quite nice. Um, sit and overlook the sea. Whoa, <laughs> dive bombing seagulls. Oh, look, oh, that bloke's got food. Struggling to land. Anyway, that's that. So here I am, parked up in red car. Ridka, red car. In the car park that I showed you. It's absolutely blowing a gale. Still. I don't know if you can hear it. The whole van shaking. I always makes me feel a bit nervous. There's strong wind because it's so powerful. <laughs> you know, I'm in red car today. I might be up the coast somewhere to tomorrow when I wake up. You know, I might have just blown up the coast. I might get the same on diesel, I suppose, if I got blown. But it's just, I don't think I will get blown over, will I? But things do get blown over. I mean, you say bloody massive articulated lorries blown over. Well, more, it's more the box on the back, isn't it? Because it's tall. But um... So I asked one of the other camper van people about staying overnight. Because there is a sign that says overnight park. No overnight parking. It's most annoying, isn't it? And uh, it's an old guy in a, an old... Transit, not transit, it's a Ford. It's a Ford camper. I don't know if it's got a name. Good God. But it's, um, how old is it? Oh, he did tell me, I can't remember now. Older than mine, anyway. Anyway, he invited me in because it was blowing a gale. And, um, 
it would have been awkward just to stand on the doorstep trying to have a conversation. So we were chatting about his van and everything and he comes up here regular though and he's actually stopped here a month without any problems. So that reassures me. Yeah, there is um, a barrier and I asked about that as well because it was, I wouldn't have got under it. And he said that the fire service have said that that can't be locked on a night in case there's a problem. You know, if somebody gets poorly or whatever, they won't be able to get in. So that's not allowed to be locked. So I think I'll be all right. Probably quite a pleasant spot, really. I mean, it's been grey today and obviously windy, as I keep saying. <laughs> but um, I think it'd be nice when the sun comes out. And the wind goes away. But old Roland's in his van. He he basically wanted to show me around the town because he wants a companion. A companion. God sakes! Can you not just talk to a man without him thinking you want to marry him or something? I mean, he must be seventy-five if he's a day. I mean, I'm not being funny, but I, I'm not saying I'm God's gift to men or anything. You know, but I'm not like Quasimodo's sister. You didn't know I had a sister, did you? No. But there's got to be, there's got to be 20 years difference, at least, between us. What do you think I'm going to want with the man his age? Seriously! You know, I'm not averse to somebody a bit older. But, you know, it's somebody like my dad's age. It's like, no! And he kept making cracking little jokes, which weren't really funny, and saying, no, it's all right, you'll get used to me. I know I won't, because I'm not going to be around. <laughs> from Dewsbury, of all places, which is not that far from Bradford. Anyways, his friends turned up in their motorhome, and he, he said, oh, come in and meet them. I'm like, oh, all right then. Anyway, they, they, they were kind of all right, I suppose. They were welcoming enough. But when they started being racist, I mean, the female, I won't mention the names, I actually referred to Asians as nignogs. I mean, <laughs> I didn't think people use that term anymore. Obviously, people of a certain age do. Well, maybe it's not certain age, maybe it's just certain people. But I thought, yeah, at that point, I probably need to leave. But I found out that there is a laundrette up road that I might be able to use. There was once, last year anyway, showers in the town centre. Uh, whether they're still there, I don't know. But I'm going to check that out. And apart from that, I really don't know what's happening. I might be meeting one of my subscribers on Thursday, Stephen, so maybe I'll do a van tour. Yeah. Yeah, well that's it for now. It's it's late, it's um, nearly five to midnight. I need to get my earplugs out and go to sleep. Right, that's it. I'm going now. Good night. I'll see you later. Good morning everybody. Still windy out. It's warm. It's really quite warm out, which is nice. I'm gonna find a laundrette today. There is one on the road. I don't know if I can park outside it or not, but um, I'll go and have a look. Uh, I haven't actually done any washing since I was in Halifax, I think. I think that was the last time, so that's over a month ago. So it's just as well I've got 400 pairs of knickers. Um, it's not a bad night, really. I had my earplugs in. I walk a few times, but I always do, so... Anyway, I've got um, a fluffy thing on my microphone. You know, wind deflector fluffy thing. I don't know what they're called. So I don't know if the sound is different. I don't need it now, because I'm obviously not in the wind. But... Um, so I'll try it out. So, let me know what it sounds like. 
nice beach out there. I don't think I'll park here again though, it's too windy. I might go to Saltburn later. Um, Roland <laughs> um, said there's another car park, free car park, which uh, is not as windy. It's not as exposed, so I might try and find that later. Okay, bye for now. So I've got to the laundrette, actually managed to park. Uh, there is a parking meter, I have no idea how much the cost is, but I've only got £1.10 in change. So I'm hoping it isn't going to be any more than that. And guess who I saw? I saw me twinny. I'm sure they're following me. I think it's fate and destiny and I, I must talk to them at some point. Because that's three places now. First place was Sands End, parked up. Then they went to the other park up. Um, it's Dave's. And now they're here. Strange. Right. I'm going to see how much this parking is now. First hour free. Fantastic. And it's £1.20. And I've only got £1.10. But I can find change in that hour, I'm sure. That's a nice beach. Sand looks lovely. See that over there? When I was driving up, I thought it was a Helter Skelter. I was thinking, oh, I'm going on that for sure. And it's not a Helter Skelter. How disappointing! So, washing washed. It's very satisfying. I was thinking that in my video about the best bits about van life, I'll put um, a card up there. I think that's where it'll be. Up there. Um, to that video. But I should have put in feeling... <coughs> Happy about little things. Getting your washing done, satisfying. Filling up with your, your water, satisfying. Emptying your toilet, satisfying. Little things. You change your bed. It's like, oh, so great. Because it's a bit of a task in a small space. Wrestling with a duvet cover and what have you. So yeah, that's done. So I went for a walk around the town. You can tell it's not a very affluent town, Redka. Um, lots of charity shops, pound shops, that sort of thing. Which, you know, it's fine. I went into pound shop and bought a couple of items. Both actually cost two pound. Anyway. Also got some fish and chips. I'm supposed to be, I'm trying to be a vegan. I don't think vegans eat fish. No. Anyway. There's a scheme at the moment, I don't know if you know about it, it's a government scheme, where they're, um... Right, that just turned off. Stupid phone. I'm sick of it. Um, who are we? I'll tell you who you are. Bloody, a company that makes shit phones. Anyway. Uh, yes, I don't know how far I got before it turned off. So, I said, there's a government scheme, um, to encourage people to eat in, I guess. In certain eateries, that certain eateries qualify, and you get 50% off. I've just said that, yeah, about six times, I think. So, I've just been in a fish and chip shop and got a child's portion, which was more than enough. No wonder we have an obesity problem. And it would have been 3 90 normally, and I paid 1 90 for fish and chips. Bargain. <laughs> Oh, shut up, stupid phone. Anyway, I'm just going to have to delete something because this phone's being an arse. Can't even turn it off because that's in the way. <laughs> right, so I'm going to drive back to the car park and um, decide what I'm doing. If it's still blowing a gale, because you won't, you won't know here if there's any wind at all because there isn't any. <laughs> That made a lot of sense, I'm sure. Uh, it's, it's really warm and quite still in the town. Um, and if it's like that in that car park, then I might stay there again. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll uh, record some of the journey, then you get an idea of what Redka's like. I don't want to go forward or turn around. I don't want to get lost.
what the hell she's guilty. There's not a hell she's guilty. Tricked me. It's out there now. Sun's out. Smashing! So open my doors. And there's just lots of flying things. Look. I probably can't see them. Flies, in fact. Flying things. They're called flies. Oh, maybe that's worth a picture down there. It's quite nice as well, doesn't it? There's cliffs lit up by the sun. So, I've got my back doors open, I'm not going to make some smutty joke about that. Listening to the sea, the tide's going out now so you can see the waves and the beach and stuff. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so eloquent, aren't I? <laughs> Might get a bit of a sunset as well, because the sun's been out a while, so... Oh, oh, it's right lovely. I've changed my bed. Always a good thing. I've washed my hair. I wasn't sure how much... Uh, how much uh, water I had, but Roland helped me. He's got a couple of handy little devices actually one is just basically it's a tube with a rubber end on it um, I've ordered one off Amazon because sometimes you go into public toilets and you can't get anything under the tap because the sinks too shallow um, you know not anything that's worth filling up 
but this thing it's like you know the old shower things you used to stick on your bath taps like rubber things with a with the shower head it's basically a head like that and just a tube so you stick that on your tap tube goes into your recep reciprocal reciprocal recept receptacle recept oh, book it receptacle receptacles right um fill it up so it's got like 25 litre containers so it fills one up for me and then it's got a tube with a pump on it electric pump so it sticks the pump in the water and the tube was went into my tank clicked it on and it emptied the container right easy bloody good idea anyway that's what I did so I've got water now so I wash my hair which is good although I've got one of those collapsible buckets the only thing with those things is that they tend to collapse when you don't want them to collapse so I ended up spilling half the contents over my driver's seat so I had a big pool of water on my driver's seat so that'll be wet for a while I guess it's rather annoying I had another one of the collapsible things and you stood it up when it would fall and it just suddenly go just collapse empty all the water out stupid bloody thing so even though they save space because they collapse they're not that reliable as res 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 <laughs> <laughs> no for god's sake <laughs> buckets they're not very reliable as buckets Oh, that's lovely. I'll have to show you. I'll have to show you. I'm going to show you. Isn't that lovely? So we're getting a bit of a sunset. And that's Roland next door and his friends next door but one. So, this is my view. Isn't it lovely? Look at that. We've got a pink beach. How pretty. I like it here. I like it a lot. So I'm wrapping up the video now. Uh, it's getting on a bit. This is lovely. I'm staying here tonight. It's uh, winds died right down, so that's good. I just oh, feel so lucky. Like I maybe said before, I didn't think that I would get to do this. Um, there were points where I just wanted to give up living in my van through the winter months and stuff because um, it was hard but I would have missed all this and that would have been a great shame so so I'm right glad that uh, I'm here thank you all for watching oh and thank you to um, all the people who've joined recently. Like I've said, there's been an influx of subscribers and um, I'm quite taken aback. But hello, welcome. It's good to have you on board. And just thank you. Thank you for being there. For taking the time to write comments. And uh, for being supportive, for making me laugh, for everything really. For, well, suggestions, places to go. 
everything. Thank you so much. Right, I think that's everything. Right, loves, I'm off. I will see you next time. Bye for now.